I'm going to ask a question that seems kind of silly. And I'm okay with it being silly because you're going to watch the video anyway and you're going to leave a comment anyway because you're willing to indulge me on this. I want to ask a question. Here it is. What percentage Hispanic am I? I know. It's, it's, a, it's almost a, an illogical question. But if you'll hang in and work with me, I think we can try to find a solution on this. So what does it mean to be Hispanic? It means, quote, relating to, characteristic of, or derived from Spain or a Spanish-speaking country, end quote. Okay, so my mom, her mother was a Mexican-American. Obviously, that relates back to a Spanish-speaking country. So by default, let's start doing the percentages. That was my grandmother who is a Mexican-American, born in America, but her parents were in, born in Mexico. But by default, a quarter of me, my maternal grandmother, Hispanic. That already makes me 25%. Now my dad, there's nothing really Hispanic or anything about him at all. You know, England, France, Germany, Netherlands, that's what we're looking at. But my mother's father, he was also a first generation American. His parents came from Italy. And we always thought they were just Italian, we just generically Italian and culturally, yes. The names, the language, the nationality. My great grandparents were Italian born Italians. But the DNA test, and not just through my mom, but also through several members of, of, her, of her family on her side, they back this up. Sephardic Jewish as well as West Asian, specifically Iran, Iraq, and Turkey. So, undeniably, I, by default, am also of Sephardic Jewish descent. My mom showed up 15.2%. She showed up 15.2% Sephardic Jewish. In theory, even though my test didn't show up any Jewish, but in theory, if she's about 15%, in theory, I'm about seven and a half Sephardic Jewish. In theory. But Sephardic Jewish, Hispanic, quote, relating to, characteristic of, or derived from Spain or Spanish speaking countries. Uh, I don't know if we can count that right. Because Sephardic Jewish, Jews from the Iberian Peninsula, Spain and Portugal, they speak Spanish and Portuguese, but they speak Spanish. I'm sure I had ancestors. If they were Sephardic Jewish, they would have spoken Spanish. They may have also spoken Italian as well. Most likely so if they married into an Italian family. But either way, that's Spanish speaking. Now this is Spanish speaking countries. When we think of Italy, a lot of times we don't think of, oh, well, that's a Spanish speaking country, but where do you draw the line? America, United States is definitely a Spanish speaking country. So just because it's not the number one language, it's definitely widely spoken here. So then, then it becomes less about the country and more about the people group, right? If they were Sephardic Jewish, whether they were in Italy or Spain or Puerto, they were speaking Spanish. So does that count? I know it's a technicality, but I'm, does it count? Because if so, if that counts as Hispanic, and I know it's a stretch, that to be Sephardic Jewish could in all mean you're Hispanic, but it, the definition, what if this was it? A Sephardic Jewish slash Hispanic, quote, related to, characteristic of, or derived from Spain, Sephardic Jewish, or Spanish speaking countries. Okay, well, by default, from Spain. Sephardic Jewish, Spain, Hispanic, Hispanic, Sephardic Jewish. So I'm doing the math. 25% from my mother's mother. In theory, another seven and a half from my mother's father. I have an English degree. I don't do numbers. But 25 plus seven and a half. 32 and a half. Is that right? Am I right? So in, in theory, I'm about a, a third Hispanic. Is that fair to say? Is that fair to say? Now, if you really want to have fun with this, consider my actual DNA test results. So 
I say, if we're going by the actual definition of Hispanic and recognizing that Sephardic Jewish would mean going back to Spain, having ancestors that definitely spoke Spanish in Spain on the Sephardic Jewish side, which multiple tests on my mom, uh, her, her family have backed this Sephardic Jewish thing up. But worst case scenario, the least Hispanic by technical definition, again, 25% plus the half of the 15, so that's seven and a half. So 25 plus 30, right there is gonna be 30. So we're plus the change. So we're looking at about a third. Minimum by default, Hispanic. 30, I'm about a third right there again. Let me, let me do the numbers out loud again. 25 plus seven and a half, 32 and a half. That's right at 32 and a half percent is right at a third. Okay, now DNA test wise, it's a different story. DNA test wise, in theory, I'm arguably more than a third. And I'm gonna pull up my app right here, my MyHeritage app, which is where I went through. I went through MyHeritage for my test and I endorse them, I support them, I like MyHeritage. I don't care what anybody else says. I like them and I'm glad I went through them. All right. So I'm looking, I'm gonna read you off the results. Keeping in mind, 32.5% Hispanic technically, just knowing kind of through family trees and that sort of thing, right? Okay, but when we look at my tests and we do the math here, we look at, first of all, we look at my Iberian, my Spanish slash Portuguese. And I'm looking at it and it says 31.8%. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says 31.8%. And then on top of that, I've got American, which is 21.6%, which is Central American. So if we do the math, 31.8 plus 21.6, 14, that'd be four. So already right off the bat, we're looking at over 50% because Iberian, Iberian is Hispanic, it's related to Spain. And then Central American, they speak Spanish there. That's Hispanic. So according to my heritage DNA test alone, I'm undeniably over half per, over half percent. Over 50% of me is Hispanic. But if we go the other route, I'm still a minimum of around a third. So, what do you think about my crazy logic? Again, I get it. If you're Hispanic, you're Hispanic. It doesn't matter how much percent. It doesn't matter if you were born in Spain and only speak Spanish, or you were born in Mexico and only speak Spanish. Either way, by default, by these definitions, you're Hispanic. But of course, if you're from Spain and in Spain, then you're actually Spanish. But either way, my point is, I'm somewhere between a third and half Hispanic, that's the conclusion I've come to. I'm very curious to know your thoughts. I'm very ignorant, but I'm very open-minded. I like to learn. I like to learn. Do you agree at all that if we were to put a percentage to it, I'm between a third and a little over half Hispanic, even though that's not really something you can calculate in percentage, but if I wanted to, would you agree with my findings? comments right here.